Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. As always, our bulletin on Sunday and the Monday morning repeat will be in English. We have some Morse code words for today and an SSTV image in PD90. Hello, this is Bob McCready, GK0FGX, with the TX Talk podcast of the GB2 RS News from the Radio Society of Great Britain. Now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf 0 Kilo Yankee Alpha, Golf 3 Yankee Lima Alpha, and Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday the 26th of August. This week was a mixed bag in terms of the sun and HF propagation. The solar flux index hovered around the 80 mark, but there was a geomagnetic disturbance on Tuesday evening that sent the K-index up to 5, for more than six hours. This prompted warnings that aurora might be visible from lower than usual latitudes. There are signs that the summer HF doldrums are starting to wane a little. The daytime critical frequency as measured by the Chilton Digison near Harwell peaked at more than six megahertz on Tuesday afternoon, bringing some signs of life on 15 meters. This continued to increase during the early evening, but was probably due to the early positive phase of the subsequent geomagnetic and ionospheric disturbance caused by plasma from a corona hole. It does go to show though that you never quite know how HF propagation may pan out, so it's worth keeping an eye on the K-index at solarham.com. Next week, NOAA predicts the SFI will be in the range 75 to 85. Ongoing coronal activity and associated high-speed solar wind streams will push the K-index up to 5 midweek, with the unsettled conditions predicted to last across the weekend, potentially causing problems for HF SSB field day. And now the VHF and up propagation news. There were some good tropospheric openings around last week. As we heard into the weekend, there'll be a ridge of high pressure close to southern Britain, which in some models remains close by for much of the coming week. This could give some extended tropo paths to the south, across Biscay to northern Spain and the Azores, as well as across the North Sea to Denmark and North Germany. Scotland will be slightly more breezy at times with rain or showers, so it is not quite so likely to see those tropo conditions. It really is getting close now to the end of the main sporadic e-season, so since the jet stream pattern is looking weak and not well placed for paths into Europe, there's little to get excited about there. The new moon on the 1st of September, together with decreasing moon declination, means an increase in degradation on EME paths. And with the Perseids meteor shower now a passing event, the Alpha Origids may produce some sporadic activity between the 29th of August and the 3rd of September. This is a Class 2 shower and comprises Halley's Comet debris. The Oranid shower is spread over many months between late August and mid-November, but early activity may be detected this coming week. And that's it for this week from the Propagation team. Now the DX News, compiled from 425DX News and other sources. Two amateurs from Japan are operating as Victor Papa 6 Juliet from Pitcairn Island, IOTA reference Ocean Charlie 044, until the 3rd of September. Activity is on 160 meters to 10 meters, operating CW, SSB and RTTY. QSL for that one is direct to Juliet Foxtrot 2, Mike Bravo Foxtrot. Following their departure on the 3rd, a German amateur, Yuli Delta Lima 2 Alpha Hotel arrives and will be there until the 25th of November. Carl Delta Uniform 6 slash Oscar Echo 9 Mike Oscar November is active from Panay Island, Oscar Charlie 129 until the 2nd of September. QSL for that one via Lima Zulu 1 Juliet Zulu. William Kilo 9 Hotel Zulu is going to be on the air as Juliet 68 Hotel Zulu from Labralot Bay in Castries. That's IOTA number November Alpha 108 until the 11th of September with activity on 160 to 6 metres using CW, SSB and RTTY, QSL to the home core. Tom Kilo Charlie Zero Whiskey is going to be operating CW from Vanuatu where he will sign Yankee Juliet Zero Charlie Oscar Whiskey until the 21st of September. You can send QSL cards directly to his home core. David, Oscar Kilo 1, Delta Bravo Sierra, and Joseph, Oscar Kilo 1, X-Ray Charlie, will be on the air as Juliet Tango 1, Delta Bravo Sierra, and Juliet Tango 1, X-Ray Charlie, respectively, until the 24th of September in Mongolia. The first week, they'll be active from Ulaanbaatar, and for the remainder of the time, they'll be QRV as Juliet Tango 1, Delta Bravo Sierra, Stroke 3, and Juliet Tango 1, X-Ray Charlie, Stroke 3, respectively, from Batcherit, and QSL for all QSOs is to the home cause. Juliet Alpha Zero Juliet Hotel Quebec will be active from Mongolia September 1st until 4th as Juliet Tango 5 November Hotel. He will be operating 160 to 10 meters, including activity in all Asian DX SSB contest. 
Ten radio amateurs from Venezuela will be active from Avis Island, a small island in the Caribbean, starting September 2016 as, as Yankee X-ray Zero Victor. Plans are to depart August 31st. There will be QRV for about 7 to 10 days, operating 40 to 6 meters CW SSB and planning activity on VHF and SATCOM. Well-known DOM 3Z9DX together with SP3DOI and SP7VZ will be active from Canton Island, Phoenix Island, starting late September 2016 as Tango 31 Tango. All members are of the Rebel DX group and they will be operating 160 to 10 meters. Papa Hotel 2 Mike will be active from Lanzarote Island, Canary Islands, September 25 until October 6 as Echo Alpha 8 stroke Papa Hotel 2 Mike. He will be operating 40 to 10 meters single sideband. Kilo 7 Tango Romeo Bravo will be active from the Lesotho until November 5 as 7 Papa 8 Victor Alpha. He will be operating on 80 to 10 meters and hopefully 6 meters also SSB and digital modes. Kilo Bravo 1, Zulu Sierra Quebec will be active from Rwanda until December 30, 2017 as 9X-Ray Zero Juliet Whiskey. He will be operating 80 to 10 meters SSB and digital modes. Alpha Alpha 9 Alpha will be active again from St. Martin Island February 15 until March 17, 2017 as Papa Juliet 7 Alpha Alpha. He will be active on 80 to 10 meters CW SSB, RITI and JT65. Deze minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald.